Y'all crazy, man. Type in your name and then click the Go button. Go! You've come to a fine and fabulous place where you can even rearrange your face. Click the eyes, cheeks, ears, nose and hair until you like what you see. Then click the Go button when it's time to take off. You're a vision of loveliness. Now there's a face to fly with. Go. Welcome to Air Show Central, your best bet for high-flying games and enlightening experiments. You can also go outside and explore. That's what the door is for. You're cleared for takeoff. Out the door to see more. I've got complete control over this baby with my radio wave transmitter. Look at her go. Uh oh, watch out, Liz. This airport's a busy place, but I can handle it with my hand signals. Come ahead. Right turn. Slow down. Emergency stop. Just like a sailor uses a rudder to steer a boat through the water, I can use the rudder to steer this plane through the air. For every three hours this plane spends in the air, it gets at least one hour of maintenance to make sure it's in tip-top condition to fly. That's my motto. Safety first. Some 
bumblebees have such tiny wings, you'd think they couldn't fly. But those amazing bees do manage to get themselves off the ground by beating their wings very fast and creating air currents that lift them. Birds and airplanes are both true flyers, using wing power and engine power to push themselves through the air. But I love to glide, and the wind is all I need to take a wild ride. Wahoo! Who would have thought that a giant squid and a jet plane have something in common? The squid moves itself by squeezing water out of its body, and the jet plane moves itself by pushing air out through its engines. This glider is thermaling. It's circling in the warm, rising air, just like a hawk. A helicopter spinning blades are like propellers, but they push the air down instead of backwards. That's why helicopters can take off like an arrow straight up into the sky. That model rocket really rocks. But it's just a bottle rocket compared to the jumbo rocket engines the space shuttle uses to fly into space. You launch a rocket by setting the fuel on fire. The gases from the fire rush out the back of the rocket and propel it up into the sky. A bottle rocket is a small rocket, but it works the same way a big one does, like this Saturn V that took people to the moon. All I know is that I'm going to be extra careful around any rocket, big or small. The air is just packed with things that fly. Birds and bats, insects and planes, blimps and balloons are flying high. It's time to give the sky a try. Hi, welcome to the Flight is Right. I'm Amelia Airhead, Ace pilot and like I'm hosting this kickin' game show where you can earn lots of fabulous feathers for your flight cap. So, will you be playing a one player game or a two player game? One no co-pilot, a one player game. Here's how we fly this game. Click a dial to hear a question. Then click the picture that answers the question. To hear the question again, just click me. The fly or glide category. Some things truly fly by using wing or engine power. Others just... You're a real flyer! Check out this hummingbird. Does it fly or... You get some flight feathers for that one. If you went for a ride in a helicopter, would it fly? No question about it. You've got all the answers. This cute little fellow is a flying squirrel. Does he really glide? You get some flight feathers for that one. Do you know for sure if this hang glider flies? You're a real flying quiz whiz. The fly or glide category is cleared. Choose another category. The true or false category. One fresh question coming up. True or false. Like airplanes, birds need lift and thrust in order to fly. You can be my co-pilot like any time. True or false. Bats can fly because their bodies are covered with special feathers. Click a new question. True or false? Birds have lots of extra heavy bones to help them fly better. Try another question. True or false? Drag is the... You're true or false? You can be my co-pilot like any time. Great work! You flew the distance and mastered the flight is right. It's time to see just how many feathers you've earned for your cap. Do you want to play a new game? Have these guys for now. I hope to see you on a return flight. 
your chance to stretch your artistic wings. Decorate this scene by dragging the stickers onto the background. Click the arrows to choose a different background or to decorate a paper airplane that you can print out, fold, and fly. Have a fun flight of fancy. Use this tool when you want to make your stickers larger or smaller. Are you really ready to start over? to Wings and Things, where you can experiment with the four forces. Go!
Congratulations! You've got the four forces working in perfect harmony for a perfect flight. Welcome to Flyby Puzzles, the place where it all fits together. Drag each piece to its place in the puzzle. To Great! You really zoomed through that jet plane picture. Jets burn fuel with air that their engines take in and then push the gases out to move the plane forward. Excellent! You gave that propeller plane picture a good whirl. Most propeller planes have gasoline engines just like cars. Awesome! You rose to the occasion and finished the puzzle. Balloons rise because they are lighter than air. You got it! You eased right through that eagle puzzle. Birds use muscle power to fly since they don't have engines like airplanes do. Cool! Good work on putting together this feathery fellow. Feathers help birds push down on the air and create lifts so they can fly. Great! You did a humdinger of a job on that puzzle. A hummingbird can hover in the air just like a helicopter. Excellent! Great job! Flying fish don't actually fly. They jump out of the water and glide. Awesome! This monarch butterfly may be small, but it can fly as far as 2,000 miles when it migrates. You got it! You buzzed right through that puzzle. Bumblebees have very small wings, but they can get off the ground by flapping them very fast. Cool! You rocketed through that space shuttle puzzle. Terrific! You really breezed through the easy level. Ready to try the medium level? Come back soon for more puzzles. Here's your chance to take chances, make mistakes, and fly your very own airplane. Click the elevator to move up and down. Click the ailerons to roll from side to side. And click the rudder to turn right or left. Or use the controls on the side of the screen and see how they work. Okay, pilot, let's head for the heavens. Go. Now you... Now 
you're flying right as rain, straight as an arrow. Way to go! You <coughs> nice work, pilot. Just like a pro. <coughs> when the rudder makes the plane turn in one direction, and the aileron... Without using the rudder, of course you... With the nose headed down, the air... When the rudder turns the plane, but the ailerons are still straight, that means a skid for sure. The first pioneer of flight was an insect. Insects have been flying longer than any other animal. It's been millions of years since one of these has flown. It's a flying reptile called a pterosaur. Birds use their strong flight muscles to raise themselves into the air, but they also have light feathers and bones so they can stay up there. Most bats fly at night. Their legs are too thin to stand on, and that's why you always see them hanging upside down. 1999 was a good year for hot air balloons. A balloon flew from Switzerland non-stop around the world and landed in Egypt. In a glider plane, you can ride the air currents floating like a bird with no noisy engine, just the whoosh of the wind for company. When you want to get this kind of plane going, just ask the engine to give the propeller a whirl. A jet engine sucks in air, heats it up, and then blasts it out through a small opening. This makes the plane go faster than you can say, are we there yet? A supersonic jet can fly faster than the speed of sound. That's more than 760 miles per hour. The space shuttle takes off like a rocket and flies around the Earth as a spaceship. It can go on many missions, unlike earlier spacecraft that could be used only once. This new jet engine is designed to fly on Mars. The Martian atmosphere is mostly carbon dioxide, so this engine had to be specially designed. Some scientists think it may be possible to sail through space using solar sails that are pushed by the pressure of sunlight. Ralphie here with a special report on the four forces Watch how this power forward uses lift to overcome gravity. Oh well, gravity's won this round. This vulture is coming in for a perfect landing. As it gets closer to the ground, watch how the vulture lowers its tail and uses it like a brake to slow down. Looks like there's a welcoming committee waiting for this fellow. Welcome back! Planes and birds are both fabulous flying things. Click to find out more about how they get up, up and away! Ralphie here with a special report on the four forces. Watch how this power forward uses lift to overcome gravity. Oh well, gravity's won this round. You can turn the music off or on by clicking the radio. Pilots use a special code language to communicate with a control tower. First, our pilot Wanda says whom she is calling. Blockerville Tower. Next, she tells the control tower the code number of her plane. 
where it's located, and what she wants to do. November 4, 9 or 2, Alpha Bravo, on the ramp at Alpha, taxi for departure. If you want to go outside, just click the door. Are you ready to quit? See you back on the bus another time!